Okay, so for five and six, we're gonna move, turn the patient's or the mannequin away from us. We're gonna move down to about nine o'clock and we're gonna go back to our 1314 Gracie, which is our distal instrument. Remember on the maxilla, palm is up, right? So now my grasp looks like this. My second finger is kind of tucked inside my fulcrum. I'm gonna stretch my fulcrum up, place it on my first molar here, which is tooth number three. I'm gonna check for the right end on the distal. Right. Just for the sake of argument. Correct. All right, placing this up, and I have to stretch it up because gravity is wanting to pull me off. And I'm gonna roll over my fulcrum that will put my um, working end or my toe at the distal of this distal most tooth, pulling closed and then open. And then go around the corner, move to the next tooth. I'm going to move to area six and I have to use my mirror both to spotlight to um, see around the corners and also to, to get the tongue out of the way because um, the patient is going to want to put their tongue up there. For the light it needs to be moved like this way and then pointed. The light's going to be coming over my shoulder. Okay. Okay. I'm going closed and open and I'm kind of hugging these bottom teeth with my palm closed and open. My fulcrum is on the occlusal buccal line angle of the occlusal surfaces. It's not exactly on the occlusal, it's, it's out more, okay? We're gonna move to the mesial and use the 1516. Palm up, stretch your fulcrum up, and we'll check it on the mesial. Again, and we're gonna roll over our fulcrum, place our toe at the distal line angle, going apical, insert closed, and then open oblique strokes across the buckle. I'm using my mirror to retract the cheek. And as I come around the corner, I've turned my hand back up. Did you see that? Look close. I'm rolled over, close, open, as I get to that mesial line angle, I've twisted my hand back up, and that gets my shank parallel. And then for six, I'm gonna move over, stretch my fulcrum up, go in closed, and then open. Now, what's a little different here is I'm gonna use finger motion. And as I come around the corner, I'm gonna push my handle back toward this knuckle with my index finger. And that will help get me parallel as I come around the corner.
only place area six where finger motion is acceptable. And gravity is wanting to pull my fulcrum off, so I've got to keep it stretched up there. We're going to go to our 1718, which is our other distal instrument. Again, palm up, stretch our fulcrum up, place it on the distal, looking for the lower third of the shank. We want it parallel to the long axis of the tooth. I'm going to go in closed and then open. My mirror is retracting my cheek. And I can turn around and look at the distals if I need to. Close. Open. And then we're going to go over to six, stretch our fulcrum up. Go in closed and then open. Finger motion allowed. Okay. 